morning friends hope you guys are doing good guys uh, as we all know uh, internship plays a very important role in our career uh, uh, when we pass out our graduation or msc you can say post graduation for industrial uh, in in with respect to industrial perspective or you can say whether you want to go for research or academics as well internship plays a crucial role in uh, all the aspects so in today's episode we are going to discuss the opportunity or internship opportunity which is uh, available at the food safety standards authority of india that is fsi so uh, here they have given the information related to the this particular institute uh, you can just go through that if you have any query you can go to the comment box uh, i think earlier we have made one of the video which is related to the same internship which was i think in jan jan or somewhere or uh, november somewhere so uh, now we will see the most important part uh, as it is uh, this session or the internship is for month of june 2022 and the eligibility criteria for this internship is students who are pursuing means which are like they are current currently pursuing this course so full time graduate post graduate degree higher degree from the recognized institute within india or abroad so there is a scope uh, who are the students who are pursuing the their education from the abroad also they are eligible for this positions uh, and they have some sub sub clauses here first one is the pursuing post graduate degree that is uh, also uh, b take b from the recognized university or research institute in chemistry biochemistry food technology food sciences and technology or food and nutrition or uh, eligible technology or the most important part is the microbiology uh, also dairy technology agricultural horticulture uh, or horticultural sciences industrial microbiology toxicology uh, public health or life sciences it means it covers all of the branches in the life sciences also biotechnology fruit and vegetable technology or food safety and quality assurance and the second clause is uh, the second category uh, students who are pursuing their business administration management including policy regulation related to the fields uh, and it will be at only um, the, it should be at only the fsi headquarters from the fsi headquarters the second uh, third is the the candidate who is pursuing phd diploma or degree in journalism mass communication and the public relation also eligible for to apply these positions the fourth category is a candidate who is having a b or pursuing the b b take uh, and and the sub clause is in that the only third year or fourth year students are eligible to apply for this position not second or first year students in computer science information technology or software engineering or related stream all of them are eligible to apply this position uh, fifth one is the candidate who is pursuing their post graduate degree or diploma in public uh, policy administration only for this particular uh, fsi headquarter they are eligible for apply this positions also the final one is who is the candidate who is having a bachelor or master degree uh, they are eligible for apply for this positions and the location only for fsi i mean this this course again uh, the administration one the wherever the fsi headquarter is um, written this particular internship will be available at this particular headquarter only not other places uh, uh, here here they have given the note uh, so i'll i'll, I'll uh, complete it in short so the candidate who have completed their above mentioned courses they are not eligible it means clear cut the candidate who is pursuing their course all the all of them are eligible multiple applications will not be entertained means while submitting the application you have to submit single application no mistakes and the final one is the candidate should ensure that the place of internship uh, they are uh, opting uh, with the subject topic with the place in case of like the fsi lab only technical qualified candidate will be eligible so you should be very careful uh, choosing the place of internship Uh, if you have any query query related to this you can just write a email on this particular email id they will solve your query uh, if you want you can comment in the comment box i'll try to solve your query the tenure will be 
see i in last video also i told this internship will be available throughout the year uh, at different time points i most probably what i remember i, I made a video in november or january in between somewhere so this internship uh, this is for the june 2022 session and the duration will be up to three months which can be extended up to maximum six month of period it means it's it's a golden opportunity for the candidates who wants to pursue their research career in research or you can say the industry no internship less than the two months will be offered it means maximum three months will be given the place of internship and domains of area they have given so as i told earlier fsi headquarters all these five uh, will be there like standards fsm finance account import quality assurance uh, which will be in new delhi uh, the regional offices such as mumbai and chennai they will have food imports clearance and the licensing uh, third one is uh, at the kolkata gaziabad uh, they will have food sampling and testing nfl extension roxella uh, roxol i think i'm sorry uh, food sampling and testing and uh, FSI which is at Guwahati they have food import clearance and licensing so you, you can choose according to what you want uh, the place of uh, uh, internship the working space includes the intern should require have their own laptop it means laptop you should have uh, working space internet facility and other facility they are they are they are giving but not covering the local lodging means uh, residence also the travel so you have to cover this uh, FSA will not bear any expenses related to the boarding as well so you you are responsible for your travel and uh, uh, residence as well as the food now we'll see the application process so interested candidates um, should apply online the link for application will be available in the description box if you are eligible please go there and to apply uh, shortlisted candidate may require to submit their short write-up or presentation for the final selection so before like uh, during the interview and the final list will be uh, of the selected candidates uh, with their date of joining uh, and the internship tenure will be declared online which will be on the FSI website along with the application link I am going to give this link uh, the FSI website in the description box you can go there and keep watching uh, these are the particular dates the start date of receiving application was the yesterday 6th of June last date of application will be 13th of June 26 uh, yeah and the date of joining will be 29 and the announcement of shortlist candidate will be 22 June 2022 the remaining things you have to check here such as no objection certificate from the uh, you have to provide from their institute indicating your status that you are currently pursuing your program also uh, as i told earlier uh, this is for the internship scheme will be scheduled every month throughout a year which that's that's very important point i think uh, you should not miss it if you want to uh, do internship at government institute i'll recommend the FSI as one of the best institute who accept application throughout the year assignment you can check it here stipend see again that is also um, yeah, this is also plus point where they are giving 10,000 rupees uh, for the whole year it means I think you are traveling or uh, the lodging expenses you can manage from this so this is also a best point here also you will get the certificate uh, from this particular institute so it's it's very nice to have this certificate so that it will be useful for your future prospect so if you guys uh, if you really want to have a um, career in research or industrial level so i'll recommend this uh, please do apply um, like the the pursuing candidates graduate or undergraduate both of them like eligible both of from the both categories they are eligible to apply so i hope you guys you will apply and you will get selected if you have any query related to this position you can comment in the comment box if you if you like this video, please do share with your friends and family and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you. Have a nice day.